Hello there, my name is SDJ Malik and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, why don't you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, turn that like button blue. Why? Because you guys tend to forget to do so. But nonetheless, this video is all about how to do back sticking. The best methods that I know of on how to do the back sticking. Uh, this video clip is from my new school of super drumming. For those that already joined it and did the paid subscription and all of that stuff, I truly appreciate your support. Here is my video on how to do back sticking. When it comes to back sticking off of your right hand, you're gonna release the back of your fingers and you're gonna let the butt of your stick hit the surface of your drum pad or drum, whatever you're hitting on. And as you're going for the back stick, you're gonna let the stick relax between your thumb and your index finger. So really, your thumb and your index finger is doing most of the work. And when you're finished with back sticking, you're just gonna bring the sticks right back into regular playing position. When it comes to back sticking out of traditional grip, as you're going into your back sticking position, you're gonna let your ring finger and your pinky finger grip onto the drumstick right before the butt of your stick hits the drum. And then as you come out of the back sticking into regular traditional grip playing position, you're gonna release the back of your fingers off once again. Although it does sound like a lot is going on, really it's all about repetition. The more you practice with this, the more natural it's going to feel. You won't really have to worry about what your fingers are doing because it's pretty much muscle memory from that point. Here's an example of swinging your arm whenever you're back sticking, especially with the left arm. This is something you don't want to do. You want to make sure to minimize the arm swinging movement. The same way you would flip your hand between your palm and the back of your hand is going to be the same way you're going to back stick with your left hand. With this exercise, it's all pretty much 16th note based. The diamonds indicate that these are indeed back sticks. The first two beats are just regular taps, and then the next two beats off the right and left hand are back sticks. And you'll just repeat this process over and over. As you get better at back sticking, you can utilize this exercise to become much faster at back sticking. Another way you can back stick is by sweeping your sticks to the side instead of going over the top. And it's going to consist of the same principles as you would doing back sticking over the top or regular style back sticking. You're still going to release the back of your fingers and you're still going to utilize your thumb and your index finger. And of course, when you're in a traditional grip position, you're going to use the back of your fingers to grab the stick to do the back sticking, just like you would over the top. And then you're going to conclude the back sticking by releasing the back of your fingers to get back into the regular playing position. Utilizing the single stroke threes, you can see the second partial has a diamond which indicates it's a back stick. And with each of the note groupings, two 30 second notes followed by a 16th note, when you're leading off with your right hand, you're gonna back stick with your left hand. And when you're leading off with your left hand, you're gonna back stick with your right hand. Although it may seem like it's a little more advanced than the first exercise because it's a little quicker, that is the whole point of this little exercise is so you can practice getting your back sticking much quicker by utilizing the side swipes. I recommend that you go over this slowly until you can fully grasp the rhythm. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you hit that like button, turn it blue, and make sure you subscribe to the channel, and make sure you go and sign up for a free account at my new School of Super Drumming. If you already joined it, thank you very much, and if you really, really want to support SDJ Malik at full capacity well you already know what you got to do so uh i'm gonna thank you ahead of time i really appreciate it from right here from the logo i appreciate you thank you very much and have a nice day